As a Jew, I always learn about the people that sat on the side during the Holocaust. When I first heard or learned about what is going on in Syria, I started to think what, what we can do. When you look at the refugees, you see many families who only have one parent. You see many children who sometimes have no parents at all. Uh, all of that is a result of the war. Many of these kids who are here have never been to school before. They don't have anywhere to go. They can't go to a Turkish school, they can't go to a Greek school. This is perhaps one of the only places that was able to give them a home. Especially the kids that come from Syria and never went to school. Some of the adult kids, they're around 12 or 13 because the war starts seven years ago, so they never went to school. About half of the population of the refugees in Lesbos is um, children under the age of 18. So for us, it was what we had to do in order to uh, give an answer to that immense need of education. Our teachers are from the communities, they're refugees themselves. I ran away from my country because we have war in my country. I don't want sharing in the war. Until now, we have we have fighting, we have we have bomb and like this. So it's very very difficult life in this area. It's very hard to find any food. It's it's, it's very hard to find water, some water for drinking. Everything I feeling before, like everything is, is broke. Everything, uh, I don't find my family, uh, is, my house is, is broke. I think you can understand something deeply, then you could touch the pain about that issue. Sometimes you are listening to some of your students' story and just you can't stop crying. In the School of Peace today, we have children from Syria, Iraq, Somalia, Uganda, Congo, Afghanistan, Iran. Working with refugees from so many nations helps us take the experience we gained worldwide in the story of the Jewish people and take this experience and meet the people with the people and work out together a better system and a better way of living together. We're telling them and the teachers telling them that uh, they know what is to run away from their own uh, country because of violence, because of wars, because of fights. And here they need to remember it and they need to create a new safe place. And I think that if they will choose to be these leaders and they will choose to, to meet each other, the world will look differently, and this gives me a lot of hope. Every day in the beginning, every day in the beginning, all children come to me and run off to me and hug me and kiss me. In the, this moment, in the, this moment, I forget everything what happening with me in the before. Everything. Just, it's like my heart like full energy. It's for love again. At first, it was very difficult for people from Syria to work in cooperation with Israelis. But when they realized that there is, in Israel there are Arabs and there are Jews in, in which they work in cooperation, and they saw that we are coming here, you know, to help them, to give them, you know, some hope. So we started to build, you know, this trust between. Israelis and Syrian. And I think that the, the message was if we can do it, if we can work together, you should too. Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Yes! Three, two, one!
I'm 28 years old, so uh, it was my first uh, th first time I could uh, see some Israelis. So, and uh, I should say they're perfect, you know, because <laughs> they're amazing teamwork. And I could learn a lot of things uh, here. I really want to try to make society exactly a school of peace, you know. We can live in the peace. And yesterday I was talking about another friend and told no, there is hope. I see like Hair and Anat and Teruni, like I didn't see before because they are very nice with the kids. And if any country have uh, people like this, I think this is a peace country because they are helping the refugees and they are giving the heart. Israel is a country that used the anthem hope as its national anthem. And when you have Israelis, Jews and Arabs working together to help another community, I think it brings the best of Israel. And the fact that we're able to do this with Jews and Arab Israelis working together to help another community or other communities uh, that's really, for me, the embodiment of this idea of tikva, of hope, the national anthem of this country. For me, the greatest hope for the school is that we can close it, because it means there's peace in the world. But for as long as we need it, and for as long as there are people in need and they are hurting, that we can not only work in this International School of Peace in Lesbos, but that we'd have the option to expand it and open many branches of it so we can reach as many kids and, and people in need as we can.